I've loved Dolly Parton's music since I was a kid, so I was thrilled to be asked to write a book about her songs and what she's had to say about being a songwriter. She told me some great stories about her childhood, like the time she came across an old dilapidated piano with rusty strings. She took an old meat mallet and wrapped it in soft rags to soften the blow when she hit the strings. She got a wonderful droning sound out of that piano and loved singing her melodies over top of it. Around that same time, she also came across an old mandolin body, minus its neck, and she strung some strings over that, creating an instrument sort of like a dulcimer. Again, it made some droning sounds and she loved singing her melodies over that. Dolly often says that the Appalachian music that she grew up singing and playing was influenced by the music of Ireland, Scotland, and England. And she says that that music and the sound of those droning strings that she loves so much reminds her of bagpipes. Hello, my name is Lydia Hammersley, and I'd like to tell you about my book, Unlikely Angel, The Songs of Dolly Parton. I write about those Irish and British influences in Dolly's songs, like the ones in her albums, The Grass is Blue and Little Sparrow. Many people don't realize that Dolly has written over 3,000 songs, and almost 500 of them have been recorded. One of the coolest things Dolly told me was that she thinks of all of these songs and her songwriting as her workshop. So I write about the way Dolly crafts her songs, often reworking earlier lyrics and melodies. For instance, she draws on the folk hymn Wayfaring Stranger for a lot of her songs. She told me that she remembers the first time she heard that song as a kid in church, when an old man stood up and sang it all alone. Dolly said, it was the saddest, most beautiful, most lonesome thing I'd ever heard. These stories are just a sampling of what I write about in my book about Dolly's 60-year-long career as a songwriter. I also include the ways that Dolly weaves in fairy tales, gospel songs, parlor ballads, ghost stories, and images from nature throughout many of her songs to list just a few of her sources of inspiration. Dolly is a great storyteller, so I explore those stories that she's been most interested in telling. I take a look at her love songs, her songs about women, her sad and tragic songs, and her uplifting and inspirational songs. You'll read about favorites like I Will Always Love You, Jolene, Coat of Many Colors, and Nine to Five. And I'll also introduce you to some wonderful songs you may not know, like Only Dreamin', I'm in No Condition, Don't Let It Trouble Your Mind, and The Bridge. Dolly says she is a songwriter first and foremost, while writing my book, however, I talked with a lot of people who said they'd never thought of Dolly as a songwriter and instead only think of her flamboyant image. A lot has been written about Dolly's life and image throughout the years. My book puts the focus on her songs, which she says are simply complicated. They have enough depth to be appreciated and enough simplicity to be understood. I think she was right about that. I hope that people who read Unlikely Angel will ultimately come away with the thought Wow, Dolly is an incredibly gifted, sensitive, and creative songwriter.